Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. I'm your host, Kel, the world's worst YouTuber. Still bald and even more bald, pulling off my best Wilson Fisk impression. Impression? Impersonation? However the hell it works. Let me throw up a picture right over here so you know what the hell I'm talking about. Yeah. Did we get it? Alright, good. Wilson Fisk. So, recently I've been telling myself I want to get back into YouTube, and in order to do that, I needed to find a little bit of passion and a little bit of drive in order to do it. And that brought me to this journey of looking back to my old videos to see what really got me going when I first started. One of my favorite things was always ripping off Shane Dawson and doing food tastings or creamer reviews. I have several of those. And I reviewed a coffee once. That was the Leroy Jenkins by the Player One Coffee Company. Now, I was at Walmart earlier today thinking to myself, what could I use to my advantage? What could I use to my advantage to make a video? And that's when I saw this stuff. 1850. It's a Folgers coffee, but it's supposed to be, I think, how they did it back in the 1850s or roasted to taste similarly. So you got that old western-y type of vibe. Even got a, a, a cart full of coffee being led by two horses. This one is called Trailblazer, the fire-roasted medium-dark roast coffee, rich and caramelized. Net weight, 12 ounces. So, I haven't opened it yet. I'm going to read the package and then I'm going to go ahead and pop it into my coffee maker. Okay, the back here says, Inspired by time-honored roasting and grinding techniques, 1850 brings you the best of fire-roasted steel-cut coffee beans, crafted to stand strong in body and character. Those are different flavors for the different, different names for what brings a thing flavor. Trailblazer, forge your path with a bold, yet smooth blend of 100% Arabica coffee with roasted nut and caramelized flavor notes. Adventure awaits. Blaze your trail. Did I hit Sam Elliott well enough? No? Okay. Not many people can get their voice to sound like Sam Elliott. It was a meager attempt, I admit. But at any rate, um, I don't give two dams about the Marlboro Man, but I do smoke Marlboro Reds on occasion. Cowboy Killers. Mmm. That's hilarious. 100% premium Arabica coffee. Ingredient. Coffee. So, let's pop this open, and before we do anything, we gotta give this thing a sniff test, because you ain't got no good idea about what your coffee's gonna taste like unless you ain't done already sniffed it, alright? You know what I'm saying? Boy, open. Ooh, ooh, nice, nice, soft, velvety sensation going through my sinuses. Oh, that's good. That is good. It smells good. Um, it doesn't. It, my usual go-to is Colombian, so there's a richer scent to the Colombian, but this definitely doesn't have a whole lot of uh, body in the scent. But it does make up in a velvety richness that I believe is going to be transmuted through a boiling process into the coffee itself. Or as I often call it, hot bean water. Okay, yeah, it does smell pretty good. It definitely smells like a dark roast, medium dark roast. Uh -huh. It definitely has a lot of more of a medium tone in the flavor of the scent. It smells good. If you like dark roast or medium roast, something along the lines of regular coffee that's not chicory, but you want a little more kick, that's what this smells like. However, enough of what it smells like. What's it going to taste like? I have prepared the beans to make the hot bean water, and I just wanted to get a close-up of the grounds so you can see what these grounds look like. So let's just get a close-up real quick. 
All right. Got the light immediately on there. Ooh, that focused beautifully. Look at all that goodness. Get another closer close up. Oh yeah. That looks like some good ass coffee. Is that is that chicory? I'm gonna be pissed if that's chicory. Because I like to have my strong brew. It's just a little thing where it's like a slow brew. It just doesn't pump the water out super fast. It just takes its time, let the water come through and let it boil and give that nice right strength right there so we're not wasting any of the caffeine coming through the system. Let's get to tasting. Get my big ass mug right here because I, I can't just have a little little sip. Gotta have enough to last me through the day. Which is why I sometimes just default to espresso, so you know, a little goes a long way type type, type of nonsense. Let me adjust this real quick. Perpetually crooked. Just like my my life, my life. Mm -hmm. And since all chopsticks are also stir sticks, so I did not put much cream in there. But um, if it makes me a pussy for wanting my, I'm gonna turn that light off. And close the fridge all the way. Goodness gracious, mercy me. If it makes me a pussy for wanting sweeter coffee than burnt bitter at the back of my throat, then I guess my spirit animal is a cat then. I'm remembering this. I'm remembering this moment. This is the part where I burn my tongue. Ready? Watch out. Oh! That's not bad. That's not bad. I was prepared for it, so I was actually able to taste it through the scalding. So I'm just gonna do it like this and Overall, it's not bad at all. It's got a good, it's a little darker than I was actually expecting it to be, and it's not that bad. Or maybe it's because I actually put a light amount of cream in my coffee. But no, it's got a nice, thick flavor. And that's just on the tongue. In the sinuses, it s smells exactly like it tastes like... I just have this thing, I don't, I'm not a professional, I don't know what things are, what terminology is, but I go off of tongue, scent, and taste, if that makes sense, because there's that spot right there in the sinuses where you can taste it and smell it at the same time. I go off of the aroma, the aroma, that's the word I'm looking for. This is actually a really good coffee. I was setting my standard low. I thought it was just going to be some goofy little shit. Folgers trying to ramp up their sales and get people interested. It might have been, but it, it, it was good. It was good. Now, there's only th one thing left to taste. To try it out. Most of my viewers aren't really going to give two halves of a shit for this. But how does it go with a cigarette? And the basic non menthol cigarette of them all, Marlboro Reds. Kids, don't smoke. All right.
Because I don't smoke in the house. Some people might get triggered by the fact that I smoke in the car when my kid's not there. But I don't smoke in the house. So I'm on the balcony. And I can't get a good enough angle for this shit. So I'm just going to wing it. Got my Marlboro. Got my Folgers 1850. Now, the same thing that I was talking about with the coffee, the aroma, the flavor, that's also how I judge cigarettes. Some people might remember that I used to do cigarette reviews. And my very first one, one of my very first videos was a Marlboro Red review. It was supposed to be a parody, but people started taking it seriously. So now I think it's just a parody now. But I used to do cigarette reviews. So I rate my coffee the same way I rate my cigarettes. So if they blend nicely together, you got a good pairing. Mmm, disgusting, but I love it. Now to get that nice blending there, you want to have either or still on your tongue, still in your sinuses. So that way you can just and they go together excellently. So I'm going to keep talking, but I'm going to keep smoking and drinking my coffee. So overall the coffee the initial flavor the body, the texture, silky, velvety, is delicious. And that's just the sensation on the tongue. The taste, the aroma, definitely good. And then the scent. Honestly, I usually try to stick out for the little guys and not broadcast a whole lot of mainstream type of stuff. But being a mainstream coffee, goddamn, they know what they're doing. Folgers 1850 Blend, the medium dark roast trailblazer. I give this a 6.5, 6.8, 6.8 out of 7. Because it also goes good with cigarettes. Now again, if you haven't started smoking, don't start smoking. It's a nasty habit. I'm aware of it. 6.8 out of 7. Like, the only reason it's not a full 7 is because... I don't know. There's something missing. Something that I want, but this is more... I'm going to get more of this. Let's put it that way. I'm going to enjoy this, and I'm going to be wind up having more of it. That being said, until next time, much love. Peace out. Namaste. And goodbye.